Before this story starts, I want to give a special thanks to Evil J and Sonic Movie or Plus Movie Shadow for the idea for this video. Go check out his channel. It's really cool. Also special thanks for the shadow render by the way that I use in the Sonic Movie videos. It's a really cool one. So I tip my hat to you. Yeah, link is in the description down below to his channel. So, on with the video. Our story would open up near Neverlake. As a small pink house is nearby the lake, we see Amy planting flowers in the ground. After she is done, she sees a pink flicky fly towards her. When she asks what's wrong, she notices a blue flicky in the background and quickly realises what's going on. She takes the pink flicky inside and gives him her some advice, saying not to be afraid of the fear. And, well, you never know unless you try. But she pulls out something that might help her in this scenario, as she's been through this before. She pulls out her tarot cards and decides to tell her a story on how she met the legendary Blue Blur. She recalls on how she was looking for flowers when she was very young away from her village, as there was a rabbit mother who needed some flowers. Amy would have a difficult time choosing the right flowers as she wants it to be just right for the rabbit mother. But she noticed a, a certain flower high up on the mountain rocks. As she climbs up to get it, the rocks around her begin to weaken and break apart, with Amy falling down below. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a blue creature, a blue blur creature comes moving at an incredible speed and saves her life, putting her to safety before running off. Amy would then get up and follow the blue blur all across the island. She would walk towards a small owl hut and would look through one of the windows, seeing Sonic and Longclaw talking. Longclaw would not be happy with Sonic as it means that they will have to move to another world again, but she states that he did the right thing in saving that girl. Sonic then asks Longclaw, where are they going? Longclaw responds with a very quiet planet, where no one knows where they are, which makes Sonic sad, but he goes with Longclaw, who says to come along. As the two leave, Amy would step out, learning Sonic's name. She would then rush home, drawing pictures of the hedgehog, and kind of becoming a fan. Amy would then finish off her story as she would look through the tarot cards predicting that that was the person she was meant to be, the one who saved her life. Amy would finish off her story showing all of the sort of stuff with the tarot cards and tells the Flicky that no matter what you can't give up and that you have to continue doing what you do. However. Suddenly, a portal opens up over Never Lake, and a massive splash can be heard from the lake. Amy goes to investigate and sees a ring portal. From what she sees in the portal, she notices Knuckles being surrounded by, well, some weird troopers that are gun troopers, but she doesn't know that's gun, by the way. However, she then pulls, she then dives into the water and grabs out the two who have fallen into her, and she is shocked to what she sees, an unconscious Sonic and Tails, who have come out of a ring portal badly injured. And our story ends with Amy looking surprised that she knew she would encounter the Blue Blur once again. <laughs> 